safest way to double your money is to fold it over and put it back in your pocket. Hey there, how are you guys doing today? Thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So, what are we looking at today with these crazy cryptocurrency markets? Well, man, someone had bad news last night or something and no one told me about it because this market's down a little bit and I don't know what happened, right? But that's not too bad though, right? Ten, Bitcoin coming in 10.6, down 3.3%. I mean, that's less than day trading. Um, no big news on why it should be down. Kind of looking like the whole market's down a little bit, but that's usually what happens when Bitcoin takes a dip. Uh, maybe by later on today, it'll be green. Who knows, right? Uh, so let me see. We got $429 billion for our market cap. Not too bad. Uh, $17 billion in the last 24 hours. Eh, that's okay. And But 41.9% for a BTC dominance, even though it's down 3.5%. Not bad. Uh, so let me see. What do we got? We got Ethereum coming in at 788. Ouch. That one hurts. They were struggling to get over the 900. Now they're here under the 800. Um, that's down 5.6%. I mean, hopefully they'll be able to pick it back up. But that's more than 5%. That's more than the standard day trading. Hopefully this number doesn't continue downward throughout the rest of the day. Uh, oh, Ripple. Okay, so we had some news on Ripple last night. We'll get to that in a moment. Price coming in right now, 91 cents. It's down 2.7%. Not too big of a deal. Uh, we got Bitcoin Cash coming in at $1,168. That's down 4.2%. Uh, and we got Litecoin rolling up this morning at $192, and that's down 5.4%. So that's a little more than day trading. Looking like the market might take a bit of a dip today. I mean, they got to do this thing. There's talk about market manipulation happening from the big whales out there because they're wanting to get this crypto cheap right before we go on our big bull run back up to all-time highs. Whether or not that's true, I don't know. I just know that right here at this consistent price, it's keeping it a little easier to go ahead and keep collecting this cryptocurrency because the price isn't changing. I mean, that was kind of, when I wrote through the spike last year, it was hard to be able to keep collecting cryptocurrency as the price was going up. It seemed like every time I handed over dollar bills, I was getting less and less of it, which made it quite discouraging, but still trying to figure out how to hold, how to get my hands and hold on to this stuff. Uh, it was complicated and quite the headache. So, I mean, hey, be kind of happy the price is holding still because I can, I can assure you there will be times we wish the price was lower. Uh, all right, so let me see. What do we got going on for news today on Bitcoin and coffee? You need that at work, right? Okay. So, we all got a hardware wallet, right? Because we're the smart ones. Uh, well, I mean, most of us got that Ledger Nano S, right? I mean, it's, it's easy to use, it's efficient, it's fairly cheap at under $100. Um, well, they went ahead and they released an update for it. So, you can go ahead and now carry 18 different cryptocurrencies on it. That's a big plus because any cryptocurrency that you're holding that you don't have to leave on an exchange and you can have in your hardware wallet where you own the private keys, big plus right so the whole thing's a little complicated though because it's a software update and you got to make sure you have your recovery keys um you know the situation of updating the software means you have to recover your wallet so go ahead please make sure you do that right if you got questions shoot me an email on my help desk service it's eugeneforce20 at gmail.com i don't want to see anybody going and updating their stuff and not have their recovery keys or not really quite know what they're doing and you know those people that have invested a little more than what their knowledge is on the situation i mean it gets it happens to most of us that's how we get into cryptocurrency we want to get into it it's easier to throw the money in it than it is to get the knowledge but the problem is is that when it comes to cryptocurrency you are your bank you are responsible for your stuff you have to make sure that you have your recovery keys and that you update your hardware wallet properly because you could lose it you could lose it if you don't do it right so let's move on uh, all right so let me see we got North Korea uh, we're looking at a situation that they could have made about 11,000 bitcoins last year. I mean, it's about $200 million. Woof. It's crazy amounts of money. I mean, not so much for countries, but I mean, that's a big pocket change for me, definitely. Um... We're looking at a former NSA agent coming out on an interview pretty much saying that North Korea acquired these bitcoins last year through a situation of mining and hacking through their secret cyber security war stuff or whatever. Um, ugh. Then she went on to go say stuff like that North Korea is collecting this cryptocurrency so they can get other countries' currency and buy goods so they can use it to fund their ballistic missiles program. 
sounded like somebody trying to put some more backing behind why cryptocurrency is used for illegal activity and that they should go ahead and shut it down and regulate against it, especially since this was some form of government agent who was saying these things. Um, you know, hey, I mean, they could be. I mean, who knows what they're doing over there? That's kind of the point of the whole unknown, unknown situation. Um, but more than likely, $200 million that they got their hands on actually that much is not really a drop in the bucket over the overall situation. Uh, and I mean, it's not like they're really going to be able to stop the situation. Cryptocurrency is designed to be borderless and seamless and regulation isn't going to stop it. So maybe they should take care of the original problem, which is North Korea and them having this ballistic missiles program, right? All right. So let me see. The last little bit I got here is about Ripple and Coinbase and... Their new credited investment program um, that they're going to be having. Uh, a lot of people thought that yesterday um, the guy from Coinbase and the guy from Ripple would be coming out in an interview and saying that Ripple was going to be on Coinbase. They were expecting the price to pump up. We had heard something about this a couple days ago before it had gotten squashed. And that's why Ripple had shot up over a dollar and came back down. People were potentially expecting a similar situation last night. Um... And that didn't really happen. Uh, the news kind of got broken up, and then in the and then at the end, the guy from Coinbase kind of comes out and he says that they're going to be having this weighted investment program for U.S. credited people. I mean, for me and you, it has nothing to do with us. We're not going to be getting in on this. This is another one of Coinbase is trying to cater to the super rich and cryptocurrency stuff, and uh, the pairing with Ripple. I mean. It, it seems like it keeps rolling over and over and over and over again as people look for a reason to pump that ripple up. Uh, I think a lot of people bought in and got held holding the bag at up around that two three dollar mark, and they're looking for a chance to unload it and at least break even, if not potentially make a profit. You got to remember that there's a lot of whales here in cryptocurrency uh, out there investing here and there, and uh, they can manipulate these markets because they have so much money when they're doing it. So if you like everything that's going on here on Bitcoin and Coffee, I need you to go right ahead and hit that subscribe button down there because these numbers are slowly trickling upwards, and that's a plus. As always, I got my free help desk service at eugeneforrest at 20 at gmail.com. Shoot me those emails. That's the best thing I think I can do out here is, I mean, it's absolutely free. If you got questions, you're new into cryptocurrency, you're trying to figure yourself out. I've been here for two years. I got lots of cryptocurrency. I mean, not millions, but I mean, I got lots of different kinds. I got lots of different wallets. I got lots of different constant exchanges. I like to trade this stuff around. It is definitely a full-time gig for me because I love it so much, uh, but I still go to work. I mean, as you guys can see, I got my nine to five. It's how I pay my bills. You know, I got to hodl this stuff because I'm going to retire on it. And I hope you guys are thinking the same as way about this that's what we're doing here uh low risk you know high reward none of that bit connect kind of stuff so as always you guys remember keep your bitcoin safe